Okay, well to wrap things up, let's just go over some of the dimensions we learned today. First, Newton's first law of force application. Objects at rest remain at rest until acted upon by an impulse. To achieve greatest velocity, the greatest impulse must be used. Therefore, the impulse should begin in the preparatory or wind-up phase and continue through the whole range of motion. Second, the action and reaction principle states that it is important to have full extension of the push-off limbs in order to generate the greatest possible impulse. Third, to generate the greatest possible torque, the player must lengthen his projecting limbs just before impact with the puck. Also, to conserve energy, he should shorten his limbs during the recovery and preparatory phases. Fourth, in order to properly utilize the principle of summation of forces, it is important to use an open kinetic chain of movements to optimize the concepts of both the joint order law and the maximum number of joints law. Fifth, force absorption is crucial when receiving a pass or when being hit. One should attempt to absorb the force over the greatest distance, time, and surface area possible. <laughs> All right, are we ready to do this again? We're gonna sit back. Sit back there. It's been a great game all day, folks. Okay, why is everything so funny? Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. Zoom. Was everyone into it there or what? <laughs>